Hello everyone, I'll be using this plastic shovel from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint this with a Waverly Truffle. I will only apply one coat with this paint using a foam brush and I will just dab the paint onto the shovel. And once this is dry, I am going to paint Deco Art Mauve and I will apply one coat with this paint using a foam brush again. And the reason why I'm doing this because once I'm going to scrape off, I'll just lightly scrape off the paint, I could have two different paints, uh, two different colors that will come up. So I have this rooster napkin. I have this actually from Etsy. And I will just use a water pen to remove the excess paper if you don't have water pen you can use just a small brush dip it in water and then just dab it onto the area where you want to just remove the paper i'll put it aside and using this waverly ivory i am going to dab the paint onto this just lightly dab it And I'll do the same thing to the sides as well. I want to come up with a distressed look. That's why I'm doing this um, paint. And you can see it really turned so distressed already. So I'm going to dry it. And once dry... I'm going to lightly scrub this with a copper scrub from Dollar Tree. Just lightly so I could see the distress finish here. And it really looked so pretty. Now I will be applying Mod Podge to seal the paint. I'm going to apply also on the sides where I painted it. And this time I'm going to glue the napkin. And I will just lightly tap it with my finger to smooth the napkin. And then I'm going to dry it. I will apply Mod Podge again to seal this napkin. And dry it. So once it's done, I have this Excel chore that I ordered from... I got this actually from Amazon. And I will just glue it there to make this craft look real. And I have this piece of chicken wire. And the other day I just made it rustic. So I'm going to just secure the sides by putting a, a ribbon there. I'm going to glue it on the side so there will be no sharp edges and I will do the same thing to the other side as well And once done, I am going to have this Deiris Bodabra Bow Maker Mini that I bought from Amazon. I am going to make a simple bow. And I'll be using cloth here that will match with my craft.
If you like to see more of my craft ideas, please go to my profile page. Please click like and give me a follow everybody. You can see more of craft, my craft ideas there. And you can see on the video that I just tied the bow using a dew twine and then I just make it look fluffy. I love how this craft turned out and I hope you like this and you're gonna make your own also because this is very budget friendly kind of craft. So now that I'm happy with how my bow look uh, turned out, I'm going, I'm sorry, I'm going to just glue it there. And this will, of course, give an accent to this craft. And I'll put a piece of button right in the middle. So I would just uh, make this look a little distressed and this is optional if you don't like distressed look don't use this dark sealing wax by Kells that I bought from Amazon. So I have this piece of cardboard I am going to um, make my own actually a message there and I will spell out the word rise and shine. I have a little of burnt umber. I will just dab the sides there to look distressed. Then I'm going to start to spell out the word rise and shine. Then, like I said, I don't like empty spaces, so I am going to just put it there. And I really love how it turned out. I hope you love this as well. I will just make a small bow just to put there to cover the hole. And that's my finished craft everybody I hope you like this craft it's such simple very economical and I really love how it turned out I hope you love it too thank you all so much for watching and I hope you give me a follow and please like my video thank you all so much and till next time